this is old Louisville. So we were here hanging out, and the gentleman from the hotel uh, said, uh, what is, it, is it related, a relative? Are y'all, y'all related? Friends. Just friends. He's like, he's like I, I know a guy's got a whiskey company. And I was like, well, if it had a bottle here, we'd drink it. And so he called him and brought Old Louisville Whiskey Co. right here. You want to get in here? You want to get in on this? So what the hell is Old Louisville? It's a new brand. You talk to them. Don't talk to me. Talk to them. <laughs> it's a new brand uh, established last August. Uh, we're passionate about whiskey. We're passionate about bourbon. I lived here for 20 years. I was a retailer, and uh, I decided to start my own brand. So the philosophy behind this brand is nothing young. Okay. Everything is seven years and older, so, and then we'll taste it, and uh, you judge it. Well, let's taste it. So these are both, these are both MGP barrels? Is that where we're sourcing from currently? Yes, sir. Do you source from multiple places, and that's just what multiple these happen places, to be? Okay. everything that we're going to release in the next few years is going to be MGP. We may yeah. switch back and forth between Kentucky and MGP after that. Okay. This one is the 100 proof. 100 proof. Okay. Everything is uncut and filtered. Whatever came out of the barrel, that one came out. Exactly at 100 proof. So this one's so this is barrel strength then on barrel this strength. one. Okay. Yep. Interesting. So not bottle and bond, just happened to be a hundred proof when yep. it came out. Uh, this was tell me what the mash bill on this one was. 75 core and 21 rye, four barley. Okay, so this was the high rye MGP mash bill. Both high rye. This one is 21. This one is 36. Okay, so that was the high rye. Seven year, eight months. Eight year, six months. Okay. That one's good. Now, my problem is, is that I've been having a lot of high proof stuff. So that drinks like water. So it normally drinks like water. It's not my taste buds just shutting good. down on you me. Should, you should taste a lot more. Than I mean, that. I'm getting flavors, but, but I'm just saying there's no proof. Prior to that, yeah, there's no. Hard to pick up like that goes down really easy, which is good. We, like, that's we a need, uh, we need a slice of pizza to cleanse your palate. I had I just ate one there. Seriously, that pizza is fantastic and massive. No, it's definitely hard to pick up on those flavors after you had. Well, I mean, I get I definitely get a little. There's some nice soft oakiness to it, like that's got a a really nice oaky finish to it. I, I like that bottle. This though. one is very unique. Okay, uh, it was aged in Colombian white oak. So 2015, when it was distilled, there's a lot of shortage of oak. So they had to source some white oak. Typically, it's from the Ozark, Minnesota area, American white oak. That was aged in Colombian white oak. So anybody, who's tried this one? I saw a bunch of it poured. Y'all tried it? What do you think? I think it's one of the best things on the table. You think it's... They can't see the table. Okay, listen. Listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, 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 let's dial it. Let's dial it. If you didn't hear, he said it's one of the best things on the table. Now, it's a good whiskey. But we're not going to lie to you. There's Willet Purple Top on the table. Like, you know, Stag Jr. on the table. This is a good bottle of whiskey. This is a good bottle of whiskey. But he got a little excited. He, and you think this one's better? I think so. You got to try this then. What's the, the great thing about opinions is that they can't be wrong. Opinions are never wrong, they're just opinions. So you can have an opinion, and it's not wrong. Even if somebody doesn't agree with your opinion, it's not wrong. So his opinion is, I do like it. Now, that is, I will agree it's better than most of the things on the table. I'll give you that. Better than most. And honestly, there's a lot of really nice bottles on this table. We'll show you all some of those here in just a minute. And this is the high rye. This is one you sent to Australia. Actually, went to Australia. 60 core and 36 dry, full barley. It was eight and a half year when it was bottled. 118, I believe. Oh, that's better. 120 proof. That's better. Oh, yeah. If you like this one, you're going to love that one. That's where it's at right there. What's the proof? 120. 120. 120. Oh, that's. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Now we're talking. I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. You know, I don't know. Yeah. That that's dry is a grain of flavor, so you got thirty six percent. Just let it age long enough, and then the, we're gonna have good whiskey. The proof too, because the mouthfeel on that one, like it just, it really coats the palate really well. You get a lot more flavors on that one. Oh my goodness! You're leaving that bottle with me, right? Absolutely. I mean, if if it gets Hopefully drank, that's cool. It. Hopefully they don't finish it. If they if they fit, 
if they if they finish it, it's fine. I'll just take the empty bottle, but hopefully they don't. The good thing we have a lot more barrels of those. Of the Australian, like of just general just barrels. barrels of the same mash bill. So this man said, I said, if we did a store pick of old Louisville, how fast can you have it ready? He said, 24 hours. So we can do a pick, and he'll bottle it the same day. So I want to get – these are – what's the, the retail on these? 149 So about $150. So I want to do some more, like, affordable barrel picks before we get into more of these expensive ones because the, the barrel uh, craft spirits one we just did was over $100. So we're, But we're going to do a pick of these here pretty soon, especially if he's got more of those barrels right there, the high rye. Um, that's That's good stuff. Tell me about the charity. You got a charity. Uh, this barrel is actually for a charity. So every bottle we sold, uh, 20 bucks went to a charity. It's a childhood cancer family fund. So That's a much better cause than my charity, which is just fund my bourbon. Yeah, that's fantastic. So are you doing that a lot? We, Since I've been in retail, we did a lot of charity work. So we have picked a lot of barrels for charity. And now we have our own brand. So every every time... We have the ability to help. We're there to help. Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, and thanks for bringing these. Yes. So y'all grab an old Louisville if you get a chance, but go for the higher proof one, that 120. Who disagrees with me? Anybody disagrees that that 120 proof is better? I dare you. Anybody. Just come bring it. Bring it. Nobody's brave enough to disagree with me. Bottle. You bring me. Yes, I'm, I'm going to keep this one over here by me before somebody tries to walk out the door with it. Y'all enjoy that one. Have a good time with that one. The, uh, yeah, the name Old Louisville is a good name, and I, honestly, the packaging is fantastic on this. So this is a really nice-looking bottle of whiskey. When he brought it, and it comes in a fancy bag, which is like, okay, it comes in a bag, cool, I don't I don't care. These just get thrown away at my house for the most part, but um, it's a really, really nice-looking bottle and a good bottle of whiskey. It is MGP, but like I keep saying, MGP makes really nice whiskey if you can get the good barrels.